Hey guys, this is Carrie, your watercolor misfit, and welcome to the new series called You Asked For It, where I answer your questions about art, watercolor, and whatever else you may want me to answer. Today I am going to be answering the questions about watercolor concentrates, specifically the PH Martin's Radiant Watercolor Concentrates series, this particular brand, and I will be talking about the pros and cons to these and updating some information that I have from a previous video, so make sure to stay tuned. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to say with these guys is if you have been on my channel since pretty much the beginning, you probably saw me painting with these guys right here. Right around the time when I started this channel, my husband blessed me with this gift of watercolor concentrates and about two years ago i'm not sure if they were new at that time but it definitely was the it trending thing for watercolor and it has just continued to get bigger and bigger and bigger there are a lot of questions around these and today I'm going to be answering some of those questions as well as the pros and cons to these and kind of concentrating more on just these in general for today. All right, so question number one, this is one that I usually get concerning watercolor concentrates, is what is the difference between these and let's say ink? Well, one major difference between these and ink is ink is usually very opaque and these are very transparent so if you fiddle focus for us you can pretty much see straight through that bottle that is one reason why i absolutely love this set and pretty much all the sets of the radiant ph martin's radiant watercolors it doesn't really matter what color you get it's always transparent so that basically means whenever you lay it on the paper, that paper is going to shine through that color and you're really using the white of the paper to help coat those colors in a lighter form and it's just something that's dreamy and beautiful to me compared to let's say a more heavier median of paint or media of paint which would be oil and acrylic. This is something that only watercolor can do. And that's one of the reasons why I fell in love with watercolor was its ability to be transparent. With these, I never have to ask myself the question, is this transparent or is this not? These colors are always transparent and I have just fallen in love with them. So that is a pro. We're going to get to the con in a second. Another pro is basically when you put these down on your paper they're vibrant from the very get-go if you want to tone them down you can add water and they work well with water they mix well together is another pro um, another awesome pro to these is they are fantastic with wet and wet techniques these are the paints that taught me really how to mix watercolors in a wet and wet technique fluidly without very much effort. They're just the type of paints that they want to work in water and they want to merge together in unique and just interesting ways and they act a lot like ink in that how it just moves in the water but like I said earlier they're transparent so they have that really nice fresh watercolor feel. Those are the pros. All right, now let's get into the major, major con of these. And I'm only going to talk about one because really that's the one that made me not want to use these anymore. Um, these are not light fast. What does that mean? Light fast basically means that when you hang a painting up in a room, if the paint is light fast, the color of the paint will not degrade, it will not fade in sunlight. That means that when you, after you are done painting with these, since they're not light fast, when you hang that painting up in room, it's going to fade and the colors are going to degrade over time. So that was a big con to these because 
I knew that most of you guys, when you're painting an illustration, you want to be able to keep that painting once you put all that work and all that effort into it for a really long time. If I had you guys painting with these, it wouldn't stay for a really long time and what's the point of putting forth all that effort? So after doing some research, I found out that these are usually used by illustrators and what they do is they paint the painting immediately and then they take it sorry they paint the painting and then they take it immediately to a printer and then the printer will print off so many copies and then they'll leave that painting in a folder or in something that will not allow the light to get to it now some of you guys were freaking out <laughs> when I first started painting with these and saying you have to put those paintings away immediately they fade within weeks that's not true that's over exaggerated um this particular painting is probably one of the most popular tutorials and time-lapse paintings that i have on this channel and this is the poppies painting and this guy let's see if i can get closer and fix my light this guy is still in really great condition it has been two years and I'll do a close-up right now of it, but this guy right here, it's been two years since I painted him. He has been hanging up in this room. As you can tell right now, sometimes I have to adjust the light. It's a very bright room. It has two windows to it, and he's been hanging up on the wall pretty much for two years straight, and just now, his color is starting to fade just a little bit on these lighter petals. But other than that, it's still vibrant. It's still beautiful. The illustration I am still very pleased with. Whenever I have people walk in this room, this is usually the one they point out first that they absolutely love, even compared to my other ones that I've done more recently. So if you don't really mind having those colors fade a little bit this is still a great set and i absolutely love it and the set that i have is i have the set a i believe i always mix these up so i'm going to look at it later and i'll put it down at the bottom of the screen right now but these colors i have absolutely fallen in love with and i still love them the only thing is, since I'm teaching you guys tutorials and how to paint with them, I want you guys to have quality paints that are going to last a really long time. So that's the reason why I kind of set these guys aside. So those are kind of some of the questions and the pros and cons to these. I don't want this video to be really long. I just want it to be short and kind of to the point of what I think about these specifically. If you want something that is light fast, I'm going to get into a, another set of watercolor concentrates next week and really look into those and they are light fast and really break those down for you. And I'm also going to be getting into future episodes, um, the Windsor and Newton two paints, the professionals versus the Cotman series. So that's something for you to look forward to in the weeks to come. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button, comment, give me more questions, especially about in the next coming weeks, I'm going to be talking about the watercolor concentrates that are light fast. And I'm also going to be talking about the Windsor and Newton professional tube paints. So if you have questions about that, leave those in the comments below and I will see you next time.